let's continue our journey examining ionics components in this lecture. We're going to, in particular, look at ionics list support, then ion basic tabs support, and also some quick review of ionics grid. Ionic supports list using the Ionics CSS list class. So you can apply the list class to any div or the UL and then construct a list of items. Now inside the items, you can use the item class in order to construct the list of items. So you can uh, apply the item class to a uh, list element and then uh, use that to construct lists. But Ionic has its own extension through the uh, through ionic directives for supporting more powerful lists called as then ion list so this is supported using the ion list directives the ion list directive supports additional features for lists including interaction modes like swiping to edit the list uh, dragging to uh, to reorder the lists or, and even adding delete buttons to the lists. So this is supported using the ion list. So inside the ion list, if you use the ion item directive to de define the list items in this list, then all these additional features that Ionic brings to the ion list are accessible to us. In the exercise next, we are only going to uh, look at the basic usage of the ion lists in some of the later exercises, we'll come back to look at these additional features like the swipe to edit, drag to reorder features of the ion list. So the basic usage of an ion list within your application is to define an ion list using the ion list directive within your, within your template. So inside the ion list, you specify items using the ion item directive. Now again, the additional features, we will examine them uh, through some exercises in some of the later lessons. Ionic also supports tabs. Now we will look at basic tab support in this uh, uh, lecture. But Ion has its own, just like we had the basic lists and the Ion list uh, directives, we have the basic tabs and then we have also the Ion tabs directive which provides tab functionality with a lot more advanced features, including the ability for navigation, for various uh, navigation stacks, and so on. We'll uh, consider those in one of the later uh, exercises or later lessons. For the moment, we'll look at the basic tab support. If you need to define tabs in Ionic, you would have an outer div to which you will apply classes like, for example, in uh, here you see me using the tab striped class and tab color class. So the tab striped class adds a stripe on top of the tab that we defined. So on the right side, you can see me using uh, the tabs in the design of the user interface. So in that example, you can see that the, the menu is highlighted with a stripe on top. So that is what tab striped class creates. Now inside the tab uh, striped div that we defined, you can have a UL or even a div with the class tabs. So this is what defines basic tabs that you can use in an Ionic uh, template. So inside the tabs, you can define individual tabs by using the tab item class. So you can see me applying the tab item class to the list elements there. And then this is the structure that is used to define the set of tabs that you see in the example on your screen to the right hand side. So here we, you see me defining four different tabs using the class tab item. And then these are enclosed inside the UL with the class tabs. And then this is enclosed inside a div with the class classes tabbed, striped, tabbed, color, royal. So you can also use tabbed, color, assertive, tabbed, color, balanced, and so on. So to, to get various colors for your tabs. In this um, 
example, I found that the royal color, because I used that color for the header bar, I used the same color for the tabs to uh, keep the user interface consistent uh, in its look and feel. Ionic also supports a grid. Ionic uses the CSS flexible box in order to support grid. Now, if you are familiar with the bootstrap grid, you will see that there are a lot of similarities, but of course, slight differences in the way the Ionic rows and column classes are defined in order to define the Ionic grid. So in Ionic, you would define a row by applying the row class to any element. So you can apply the row class to a div, and then inside the row class, the row class basically, um, when applied to an element, forms the container inside which you will you will have other elements with the column classes. The column classes are defined as col, C-O-L, classes. The, if you include multiple column classes inside a row class, each column class will get an equal share of the entire width of the screen. So if you include three classes, uh, three column classes inside a row class um, element, then the three elements that use the column classes will get one third of the share of the screen width. You can use this to define your user interface. You can also explicitly specify the size of a column or the proportion of the screen width that should be allocated to a particular column by adding call hyphen and then you can say, if you say call hyphen 50, then half the screen width will be reserved for this particular element to which you apply this call. So to do that, you would apply call and call hyphen 50 to the same element. Now you will see me uh, using some of these in an example in the uh, exercise that follows next. Now, uh, you can also do column offsets by using call offset x, where x is a percentage. So in case of Ionic, the values that you specify is always a percentage of the screen width. So uh, if you say call offset 10, that means that you want the column to be offset to the right by 10% of the screen width. So it, everything is always in proportion to the screen width that you specify. So the entire screen width will be 100%. So based upon that, you can define how much portion of the screen width you want to use for various purposes. You can also do vertical alignment in Ionix uh, grid. So if you specify call top, call center, or call bottom, and apply these to any uh, element which is using the column class, then you, you are essentially specifying whether this column should be aligned at the top, middle, or the bottom of that particular row. So depending on the largest sized content of the row, that is what defines to which the remaining columns will be aligned. Same thing if you apply the row top, row center, and row bottom to a particular row, then by default, the, the uh, vertical alignment will be applied to every column inside that row. Also, you can add responsive uh, approach to the uh, row class. So you can uh, apply responsive SM, responsive MD, and responsive LD classes to your rows in order to define a responsive design. Again, keep in mind that the mobile screen is fairly small in its width. So uh, there is not that much of flexibility in terms of defining multiple columns in a single uh, row within limits. You, know, you, you, you wouldn't want to include 12 columns like the way Bootstrap does with its, um, with its uh, uh, grid. Here, you have the flexibility of including as many columns as you want. So maybe if you want to place something side by side, then maybe you define two columns within a row 
and that is good enough to position the items in your user interface. Let's look at the usage of an ionic grid in an example next. In this example of the ionic grid, I am using the grid classes in order to uh, position my customer comments on the screen. So you will see the usage in the uh, exercise next. But essentially what I am trying to achieve here is that I want the columns to be displayed as one single column, but I want the columns to be displaced to the right by about 10%. So to achieve that, you can see that I am applying a class row to an outer div and inside that to an inner div, I am applying call call offset 10, meaning offset this column by 10% from the left edge of the screen. So this allows me to display my customer comments as you see in the uh, screenshot on the right side in a more elegant manner. Now we will move on to our next exercise where we will examine some more of the ionic components. In particular, we'll make use of ionic lists. Then we'll use some basic tab tabular functionality in order to display only some items from the menu for our restaurant. And also we will use the ionic grid when we display content in our application.